Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our start from scratch Elm Creek run here. And just finishing up mowing these fields. We got some contracts running in the background just to get us a little bit of extra money while we're taking up time anyway. realize some of that grass we're not gonna be able to pick up with the uh the wagon because it's too close to the trees anyway must have done this in a different order last time because I think we came at this light pole. There we go. Let's like try to get back online. I mean, we can start trimming down some of these trees at some point if we want to, but I kind of like them. And most of the time, they're not in the way. I'm going to come over here and just clean this up just since it's part of the field itself. If it was, if it was the edge grass, I wouldn't worry about it, but the field grass, I kind of want to just get all cleaned up. All right, there we go. Oops, if I drive a straight line here. All right, done. Nice. Now we're going to gather it up and put it in our silo, which I need to put down now. All right, let's grab this so our our um i just need the small one our harvests are far enough apart right that we should be able to just use a single one for right now so i'm probably just gonna stick one kind of off to the side over here it'll make room for more if we need them later um and these do kind of link together uh does it say how much this can hold I mean, worst case, if it can't hold it all, we'll build a second one right next to it, and the combined total would be should be fine, right? Uh, let me see something real quick. This one's six by thirty-one, and this one's eight by thirty-nine. So I think the my math in my head's not working right all of a sudden, but uh, six times thirty-one that would be one hundred eighty-six cubic or squared meters, 
186 meters squared. Uh, and then the other one's 312. So yeah, two small ones are both cheaper and technically more space. Now, usually, I mean, one good thing about having small ones is why are you not rotating? Okay, there we go. Um, one of the good things about um, we can toggle free mode off. Can we turn this any other way? No. Whatever. Um, one of the good things about having two duplicates is that you can have different cycles. So you can have some that's already becoming silage while you harvest another set and have that in the second bunker and then you just kind of go back and forth. Uh, we're going to be doing it all at once, so it should never come up that it's... We need... I just need to make sure we have plenty of space to kind of turn around and do whatever else we need. I think this is going to be fine here, though. It's pretty small. We'll find out if that's... Hopefully that's not too small. Let me... Um... I'm gonna grab my tractor. I'm just gonna go over there and kind of judge the width based off the actual tractor. We will. We don't. I don't think we have to get a, a roller for the um, the silage. It goes faster. Technically, if I remember right, at least in 19, you could just run a tractor back and forth over it. It's just slower because you do have to smush it all down. Now we should. We'll be, we'll be able to fit just fine in here. Um, cool. That works. Um, now we need to go grab our forge wagon. It doesn't have to be huge from the standpoint of picking up off the fields and dropping it off, but it does need to be big from the standpoint of if that's what we're going to use to drop the actual silage off, then we kind of need something that's, you know, big enough for that. I really wish this thing could... It would be cool if this one was like you could turn it into either, right? Like it was like a dual purpose type of trailer, but that's not the case. All right, let's figure out what one we want. I guess we're gonna have to lease it. We can either go small and buy, or we can go big and lease. And we know we're gonna get a lot of crop off this thing. I mean, I can go with something like this. It's a lot of trips back and forth to jump, dump it down the road. Because if I go with something like this, I can just buy it. I do want the silage additives tank. And we do want to get silage additives. I think I'm just going to go bigger. Like, how much is this one going to cost to rent? A thousand bucks. Oosh. I mean, this is something we're going to use all. You know what? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted, right? Because I will say price per dollar. This one is one of the best ones. That's <laughs> 46,000 bucks. 46,000 dollars for 23,000. It's basically uh, $2,000 per thousand. It's two to one, right? None of these other ones are two to one. This was like th almost three to one. This one's three to one. That one's a little bit more than two to one. This one's a, almost three to one. Yeah, none of these other ones that's actually the best one for the price. Is it even better than this first one? Uh, first one's technically slightly better, but we're not going to go that small. I'm going to... Hmm, I want to buy it. I don't think we can justify that, though. I was like, what combinations? I think we've got a lease this first time around. Um, and I don't remember how long it's going to take for the size to come, become silage. But we'll probably just have to turn it back and release it again later. So it's, it's not ideal, but... And I think this one's fine. This one's at least du almost double the of the very first one, right? Actually, it's a little bit more than double the very first one. It's not quite about one and a half times the second one. It should be fine.
I'm going to get some additives. Supposedly this stuff lasts a long time. So that's that's useful. And it does increase... I forget what... I think I told you guys what percentage it increased it the last time I looked it up. But it does increase the uh, silage amount that you get. But that, that little pallet will probably be there for a very long time because supposedly it lasts a long time. <laughs> Now, um, the best thing to use for silage, I think I've mentioned this before, uh, at least in 19, was corn. I assume it's still corn. I, I think it is. But my assumption is, and I, I'd have to go look it up. I'm, I'm just kind of talking based off of what seems like common sense, is that since silage is made up of the entire plant, you know, you're basically just chopping up the whole plant, fruit and all. Um, well, the fact that corn is so tall, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of plant there, you know? You're getting a lot of bang for your buck, whereas smaller things are just not that... not that much. Uh, and grass, obviously, is very, very low, so you're just not getting that much overall that's going to go into the silage. Well, here we are, finally doing some bulk grass collecting compared to... I say bulk. Again, not that the baling isn't bulk, but this is definitely just cruise along gather up as much as we can we're going to be able to gather what uh what is it five thousand liters per bale for grass so we're going to be gathering like seven bales at a time without having to stop that was the whole point of this experiment was to just speed the whole process up one and, and not have to wait for the bailing machine all that kind of like there's so many things that we can do that are going to hopefully help us out You can see the additives getting thrown in there, little by little. Oh, that's the max that we can actually hold, okay. Well, that's something I had not considered with uh, the math that I was doing. All right, usually I want to go down one side and then the other just to kind of even it out a little bit. I made that a little bit bigger than I wanted. We may have to smush that down a little bit before we can drive over it again. I feel like our herbicide guys are not moving. I need to go check on them. Oh, I missed a little bit there. Let's check on them real quick. Okay, so you're just plain old stuck. Where are you? Oh, you're over here. Oh, okay. You're just having a good old time and over here in the... Alright, well that was dumb. I figured you got over here. I can make you, I can get you back. I went completely stuck. 
Okay. That is kind of weird. How did you get over here? <laughs> I don't know how you got over here. If we go up at an angle, there we go. I love these uneven fields. Just confuses them. All right, there we go. Uh, back to this. Turn on. Good. I didn't want to pick that up. That's weird. All right, Max again. Let's see if I can do a better job of making this more even this time. See, as I'm rolling over this, we're already starting to smush out the grass that's there a little bit. All right, so unload here. Come on, come on. Oh, we're stuck. I don't want to unload it all, though. Oh, I don't want to unload it all. I can't go. Yeah, well, that didn't work out because I got stuck. I'm going to have to get a bulldozer, push that over. We might have more grass than we can put in that one bunker, though. Now that I'm looking at it. In fact, I'm pretty sure we will. I think we will need another small one. Let's check in on our guys. You're mostly okay for the moment. You're done. Well, done as much as you can be, considering you're confused. But we'll come get the rest of this over here. That is done. Collect. Next one. Is there any others? 29, but that's way up there. 79. 79 small, but it's close by, so we'll get this one.
All right, done. Turn you in. Grab 80, which is right next door. Where did it go? There it is. And 82, actually. I mean, these are not worth a lot, obviously, but they're extremely quick to do. All right, and we'll do 82. I have feelings either 69 either ran out of space or ran out of herbicide. We knew he was going to be close. I'm going to have to like, back into that. that fence is in the way. There we go. All right, 82 is done. Any other spring? 29 again, still 55 is not conveniently located. So we're going to go ahead and knock out uh, 76 since we're over here. How much do we need for 76? 320 liters, so we got plenty. And I go check on 69, so what it's doing. It is just stuck. Uh, I guess we'll have to do both these patches, probably. Don't know if we're going to have enough herbicide for all, both, but we'll do the best we can. There we go. We actually had enough. Uh, turn that one out. It's a good one. We still need to do 36. And we need to do... 
Well, if we want to do them all, we're going to do 29. Oh, and 55, that's right. Let's grab 55 next. How much does that one need? 627. Okay, we definitely need a refill. So we'll get you head back up to the store for now. Don't think we need much more, just a little bit. All right, you are almost done. Cool. So that one's good. I don't want to turn that one in yet, though. We want to go do... Um, I mean, I guess we go 29. It's, it's a little ways away, but we can get there. So we'll grab that one. 478 liters, we have enough for that. So I'm going to do 36. All right, let's check on something real quick. Um, I'm actually going to run over here, check on our bunker. We're going to see how much it actually has in it. I think it tells us how much until it's full. Another big pile is going to be problematic. <laughs> it's also kind of goofy looking. Um, it just says the fuel level, so it's not its not saying it's full yet. We definitely did push this over. The fact that we got stuck was definitely not great. Probably what I should do is... Well, I need to just probably start compacting some of this down uh, to spread it out. And that way we have a little bit more of a f smooth playing field, so to speak. So in order to do that, since I am going to have to push it around, I am going to need to get the... Uh, the roller as well as the, uh, what am I looking for right there? The leveler probably. Um, honestly, any of these are fine. I don't think we need anything super wide. So this little three meter one's probably okay. And then silo compaction. Don't think it really matters. I usually, I've used to use that, this one, cause I, that was like one of the only ones they had. But now that they've got these other ones, probably, probably thinking just the same same uh, width as the one we've got. But I might just need to go light because these things do weigh. Obviously, that's the whole point. They're, they're, they're weights, but more or less. So I may just need to go with like a little light one over here and use this. And I think we're going to buy these. These are cheap enough to buy both these pieces. Yeah, we need to go get that taken care of before we can do much of anything else. I know this episode is going to go long, but I kind of want to get those over here and uh, kind of show what the process looks like just, just real quick, and then we can do some more next time. In fact, I'm going to put a quick pause. I'll be right back once I get these things picked up. All right, we're back over here. Um, and so ideally, we push it from the back to smooth it towards the empty spots, right? There's a good chance this... Uh, I actually didn't think that would work. I thought we were going to get stuck on that. And look, as you can see, I didn't even have to put the, the front of this thing down. Um, because it's piled up enough that it's hitting it. Now, once we get a little bit lower, I'll, I'll probably put it down. But I'm going to just do some passes here from the back to the front to try and smooth things out. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and lower... Uh, not that thing, sorry. I want to lower... Uh, actually, that's probably okay. I do want to lower this thing, though. See if we can push it forward. Uh, now, well, here's one of the things we're going to run into, obviously. 
is it's going to start pushing out the back end back there, which is not great because anything that pushes out that end will not count as uh, in the silo. So I'll have to, I need to like really push that in in a minute. First, I want to kind of get it evened out quite a bit more. Unless it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be much more problematic. As you can see, we're already at 11% compacting, which, I mean, it's... We have to, you know, we have to get to 100 before we can actually put the cover on it. Alright, here's what I'm going to do then. I'm actually going to lower this even more. Um, actually, I don't think I had it lowered all the way to begin with. Keeps popping back up. There we go. That's kind of what I'm looking for. But we need to kind of... I need to, like, lower it, but I also need to, like, twist it around. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I need to be able to scoop, scoop some of this stuff up. That's what I'm looking for. I want to get it away from the edge here. All right. That's not terrible. There we go. There we go. Now I can lift this up a little bit just to get over this hump. I pushed it up a little bit. I mean, if a little bit of grass gets outside, it's not like, obviously not the end of the world because it's not that much. But for my own sake, I like to get it all nice and clean if I can get there. But anyway, that's that's the general idea. I'm not gonna make you sit here and make you guys sit here and watch me get this quote unquote perfect, but that is the general premises. You know, just keep smushing it in. And once we get it away from the edge, then I can just go back and forth. Um once I get this like kind of cleaned up back here on the end. Then we can just roll back and forth on this thing to get it compacted. Still a little tall. It'd be a little bit hard to get the trailer over it, but that is the general idea. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, obviously, we're going to be doing some more of this, getting this pick, you know, taken care of. Is this that much faster than bailing? I like it better. <laughs> is it faster? I don't know, but I do like it better personally. Um, so we'll go with it. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.